hello friends we are at the end of this particular part 7 and this is the last video where I'm going to fix few of the bugs and make our data table responsive so let us fix this particular bug where this card is disabled instead of this card we should display an edit button so for that I'm going to open up our myapp.js inside dot myapp.js where I have used admin here if user role is admin then we are displaying this thing so I need to remove this thing first so I'm gonna remove it and we are also gonna remove this so we'll have this particular string available for admin so you can see here this if is displaying a card okay you can see it is a shopping card and here also we have a shopping card right so this will be displayed only to the user so that's what we want so what I'm going to do I'm going to write a if here if user role is equal equal to admin okay we have a particular string that we want to display which is this one that is the edit product with the glyph icon of pencil okay else we are gonna put everything that is related to user inside that else part so this is how it will look like so I've removed that admin and I've put it on top if it is an admin show the pencil otherwise take the other role that we have that is of user so it is a simple fix that you can do okay so I've done this thing so I'm gonna test it now so if I do a control F5 now I can see we have this pencil button available and now if I click if it's an admin login so we have the option to edit that particular product okay now I'm gonna make this data table responsive so if I show you this particular code if I go to view products Okay, you can see it is not responsive because I have a scroll bar here instead of this I should have a scroll bar here so that it uh, the footer and everything remains here as it is and we can get a data table as responsive so for that I've written down few of the steps so first thing we are going to wrap the data table inside a div with a class of container fluid so that if you are using a container fluid it is going to use the entire space so that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna open up our list of products page okay and where we have added this data table so here we have added that data table so first thing I'm gonna open up a div with a class of container fluid so it's an inbuilt class inside bootstrap so uh, we'll have it here so this is the first thing that you're going to do open up a class and provide it a container fluid in the second step you're going to create another div class and I'm going to create a class with the name of table responsive to make it responsive so here I'm gonna add div class and table responsive now inside this diff I'm gonna add our table and if it overflows okay it will inherit the overflow property from its parent okay so that's what I'm going to do in the third step we are gonna open up our myapp.js and code a class with the name of table responsive and we're gonna say overflow x property will inherit from its parent I'm gonna open up uh, myapp.js myapp.css sorry and at the end okay I'm gonna add dot table responsive and here I'm gonna say overflow x so because it is in the x horizontal direction I'm gonna say inherit so once you added this myapp.css I'm gonna save it okay and I will go back to a list product so all that remain is to take this table out of here and we're gonna put it inside this diff of table responsive so let me just arrange it properly so that you can see so we have a div with a class of container fluid and then we have a div with a class of table responsive and then inside that div of table responsive we have this particular table so I'm gonna save it now I will go go back to our application and do a control F5 so that it clears up the catch now if I reduce our browser size you can see it has fit nicely in our this window and then I have this data table as responsive so our footer stays as it is and this makes our data table as responsive okay similarly we need to do it for managed products because inside managed product we have this scroll bar 
displayed here so I don't want this to be displayed here as it is so same step we are going to repeat again for managed products page so I'm gonna go to our managed products dot JSP okay inside this managed products dot JSP we have our data table so let us check where is our data table is just below this is our model so this is our data table okay so so I'm gonna remove this first of all this div is not required so above the table I'm gonna remove that auto and this is one of the thing okay so again we're gonna open up a div with a class of container fluid inside div we open up a class of table responsive okay. and we're gonna take out this table and add it inside those div so let me copy it properly so I've copied it and I'm gonna paste it inside this table responsive so save it so I've saved it once again and I'll go back to our application and do a control F5 now if I go below and see this you can see the scroll bar has just gone and if I just reduce the browser size you can see our form is getting properly aligned and we have our available products also displayed inside that particular data table that I can view it here and we have a footer as it is okay so it is properly taking up all the space okay. so that's how you can fix it up your data table uh, and make it responsive now in my next part I'm gonna cover up the cart model where we're gonna create cart page and the user can add products inside the cart okay so that's what's coming up in the upcoming part so don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned thanks for watching